the hero of Doi Ram. The year was 1918, and Europe was embroiled in a brutal conflict that had already claimed millions of lives. Bulgaria, one of the Central Powers, had been fighting alongside Germany and Austria-Hungary since 1915. However, by the end of 1917, Bulgaria's situation had become increasingly desperate. The army was exhausted, and the civilian population was suffering from hunger and disease. It was at this time that a young officer named Vladimir Vazov was given an important mission. He was to lead a detachment of Bulgarian soldiers in an attack on the British forces at Oiran Lake, in present-day Greece. The objective was to prevent the Allies from advancing further into Bulgaria and to buy time for the Bulgarian army to regroup. Vladimir Vazov was born on May 14, 1868. He entered the military school in Sofia in 1886. Thanks to his qualities and talent, he quickly managed to attract the attention of commanders-in-chief and during the First and Second Balkan Wars he reached the rank of brigade commander. The Bulgarian army began the First World War exhausted after fighting long and devastating campaigns during the two Balkan Wars. In mid-1915, Vazov and his brigade fought fierce battles against the Serbs during the Battle of Kosovo, which they eventually won, thanks to the commander's leadership skills. On 28 November he was seriously wounded in battle and had to withdraw for several months to be healed. At that time he was promoted to colonel. On March 1, 1917 he was appointed commander of the 9th Plevin Infantry Division, which occupied the stretch from the Vardar River east to Lake Doiran. As soon as he arrived, he immediately began fortifying the troops' lines. Comics time! Using his extensive fortification knowledge, he put a great deal of effort into strengthening the position. In the end, the effort was not in vain, for in the next few days over 100,000 shells were fired with almost no damage. By the end of May 1917, several attacks had been repulsed and several thousand enemy soldiers neutralized. Thanks to the successful defense, Vazov was promoted to the rank of Major General. September 16, 1918. Against the Bulgarian troops advanced three British and two French divisions, one Greek heavy artillery brigade and one Greek cavalry regiment. Numerical superiority was heavily in favor of the Entente, a landslide victory was expected. A gas weapon attack is also used. Faced with the impending danger, the general tells his soldiers. We must win or die there is no other choice artillery preparation by the enemy begins. After the first wave is initially repulsed, the actual fighting begins the next day. Poisonous warfare agents were used. But again the spirit of the Bulgarian army led by their brilliant general managed to overpower the enemy. On September 18 the battle ended. The outcome is a victory for Bulgaria and over 10,000 casualties on the enemy side. This victory turned out to be Pyrrhic. At the same time a battle was fought at Dobropol, where the Bulgarian army suffered a devastating defeat, which eventually led to the Treaty of Thessaloniki and Bulgaria's exit from the war. After the signing of the Peace Treaty of Noye Sersane, the outcome was disastrous for Bulgaria, losing important territories and having to pay huge reparations. However, the British paid great honor to General Vladimir Vazov when in 1936 he was invited to a Congress of the British Legion. The chairman of the British Legion Major Goldie said in his speech, He is one of the few foreign officers whose name features in our history. Vazov is welcomed in London by a British regiment with flags. As he passes by, British General Hamilton says, Take down your flags. General Vazov the victor of Doiran is passing 